So in this video, I wanted to touch on a new exercise that I've implemented into my plant training, and I think it'll be useful for you too. And the move I'm talking about is the handstand to tuck planche negative. I've tried a variety of planche exercises for the past year, and I've seen some progress, but not as much as I'd like. However, recently I added this exercise into my repertoire, and I feel like I'm getting more understanding of the planche. I have done hand center tuck planche previously, but it was a max effort move for me, so I just stopped training it. However, yeah. recently I found a few additions that can make this move more accessible to beginners. And the first one is the use of the wall. A big factor in this exercise is balance, and when you're struggling to find the balance, it can be really difficult to make the most of this move. With the wall behind you, it can stop you from overbalancing. The second useful addition for beginners is finding a way to get over the fear of falling on your face. And that is why in this setup, I have put a couple of cushions uh, by the wall and underneath me in case I fall forwards. The, the hand hand to tuck planche negative is quite scary because you have to lean a lot more forward than you're used to. And it does feel like nice. you're gonna fall on your face. Hence the cushions make you feel a bit safer so you can push it a little bit further. As you can see in this clip, I actually lean forward too much and land on my head but I don't hurt myself uh, because the cushion saved me. The only thing I hurt is my pride. In this session, I did eight attempts with about five successful ones. The reason this exercise is useful is because of the way it loads the shoulders. It gives the shoulders a full range of motion um, compared to most planche exercises, which are horizontal and static. The top planche negative gives you the full range. It's also a useful prerequisite for the planche press so once you get good at the negatives, eventually you'll be able to do the positive as well. And besides that, it's just a fun and satisfying move to do. I'm still doing other planche exercises. Um, for example, the shoulder planche press using chairs or blocks. In my case, I'm still doing it tucked. Pseudo planche push-ups and planche leans. And with that, the planche grind continues. I hope you found that video useful. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried hand sand to tuck planche negatives before, or if you're going to start implementing them into your training now. My channel seems to be picking up a little bit of traction, but as I'm still a small channel, I can still take the time to answer any of your comments or questions in the comments below. So take this opportunity for some free advice and just ask me any question. I read and answer all of them. If you learned something in this video, please give it a like for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel for more contemplative fitness content. Catch you next time. It's a